All right, now, on the butternut squash, we've got, let me bring it over here. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. We do need our milk, so we'll keep that here. Okay. And our cream. We'll keep over here. Okay, now for the butternut squash. Because it had to roast for 45 minutes, I took the butternut squash, one butternut squash, roast, cut it, took out the seeds, yeah, and roasted it. Took two onions, cut them just in, it doesn't matter what size pieces, but you want them all the same size, or as close to the same size as possible. We've got them, and we've got the apple, which sort of disappears once you um, peel it and roast it. So this was in the oven for 45 minutes at 400 degrees. This is what it looks like. Um, then what you want to do with this is just put all this in a pot. It's very easy at this point to scoop out the pulp, which is a spoon. So you're just going to scoop out the pulp, throw the um, uh, the skin away or give it to Joey whatever whatever comes first so we're going to add the, the pulp, the onions, the um, apples to a pot we're going to put in some, oh wait a minute here's one okay we've got the pulp of the butternut squash, we've got the apples, we've got the onions, we have the um, orange juice, the orange rind, the curry powder, the salt and pepper. We brought it to a boil, I did, reduced it, simmered it, removed it from heat, and cooled it so it's cool. So, because I didn't think I could do all that in the time that we have. So we'll finish it up by taking it by the cup full, rinse this out. So this is sort of an all day type thing. So this sort of recipe we reserve for our special friends instead of our family. Because we know that our family doesn't appreciate that. But our good friends will. So we're going to put this in our food processor, and depending on the size of your food processor, you don't want to do too much because we want to make it smooth. And it's very soft after it's been um, After this has been roasted, um, the, you can see the apples are, they're cool now, but they're pretty, pretty mushy. The onions are a little bit harder, but they're soft enough that once you put every, all of this back in with the orange juice and bo boil it, it's very, you can see it's very mushy and, and soft in there. So it's not going to take a whole lot to get it down to um, a liquid state. All right. And you can see it's still thick, but it's no lumps. Well, oh, come on. There. If you had one of those uh, emulsion blenders, you can also use a blender for this. That, you know, the straight things, you could do that too. Well, come on. 
Why isn't this cooperating with me? There we go. Oh, that was amazing. Stir this up a little bit. Let's see if it's boiling. Okay, pretty close. We will go ahead and add our pasta, and you can add whatever kind of pasta you have or like, whatever, to that. Stir that up, and then that just cooks until the pasta is soft. That's one thing you don't want crunchy is the pasta. Okay, now I need one more. Ah, the giant rubber scraper here. We want to clean this out good because we're going to put it all back in this pot. So you don't want to have any lumps in, left in the pot. Because if you serve this to your family, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to point out that there's lumps in the soup. Your friends won't do that. I started to say because your friends won't complain because they won't get invited back. Your family will complain because you have no choice. All right, this looks great. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put that back in there. this now whenever you use uh, milk and cream in a soup you want to heat it slow so that you don't curdle the milk before the soup is hot so that looks great okay let's move this up right here and put this back here We'll get this started on high, but we're going to turn it down. All right. So like I said, this is sort of an all-day operation. Now at this point, if you wanted to do sort of a make-ahead thing, you could, um, since this is just your roasted vegetables, you don't have any cream or milk or anything in here, you could freeze this, you could put it in the refrigerator at this point. Once you start adding the milk and cream and we're heating it up, you really don't want to do that and then um, serve it. You've got a half a cup of milk and a cup of uh, heavy cream or whipping cream, same thing, that we're going to add to that. So I'll put the milk in first. Make sure we got that incorporated. And then we're going to slowly add our cream. You could also use a whisk if you like to stir this up, but roasted butternut squash. 